Crafts that make kids smile. Pom Pom Popsicle Stick Catapult. Hi everybody. Today we're going to be doing our super fun craft. It's a popsicle stick launcher. What you need is a glue stick, some popsicle sticks. You can use both big or small. Today I'm using the larger size popsicle sticks. Um, you need rubber bands and some pom-poms. It could be any size as long as it fits in there. And the last thing that you need is some type of a cap. This is a cap from a water bottle. Um, so you can use any kind of cap, a soda cap, whatever works best for you. Even if you have like a baby food jar, something that could hold uh, with a little bit of a lip, um, a pom-pom. And basically you make this and you push this down, you hold here, you can push this and just make the pom-poms fall. They do go much further. I kind of held that down. Sometimes the kids like to hold the bottom back here and then they put, push this all the way back and then let them go. But they're still fun to make and they fly across the room. Again, they could go much further, but um, it really depends on how much space you have. So this is how you make the pom pom launcher. What you do is you get five popsicle sticks to start. Um, and then you put them together just like you would like a sandwich. And then you're going to get some rubber bands. And um, I just have a big pack that I got from Office Max. You can get them anywhere. It really doesn't matter what kind of rubber band you use. And then you just tighten them around. Uh, it looks like I can get three around. Whatever rubber, size rubber band you have that works where the rubber band is just tight around um, the popsicle sticks. So the kids can do that very easily. So all you need is, again, five popsicle sticks put together. That's your first step. That step. Then the second step is you're going to need two popsicle sticks. And you'll get your two popsicle sticks and you'll put them together just like you did the five. But this time you're only going to put one rubber band around the end, just like you did for the five. So then you should have a five stack and a two stack with only one rubber band on there. And then what you do at this point is you're going to open the two piece. It's kind of wobbly, it spins a little bit because there's only rubber bands on one side. And then watch what you're going to do. You're going to open it up, just like this. It's hard to show you, but you're just going to open it up. And then you're going to stick this five piece into the two piece so it sits just like that in the middle. Um, and that's more or less similar to how the first one originally was. Um, so that's pretty much it. Let me show you again just to give you an idea. Here's the two stick one. You open this up and then you take your five stick and you put that in between. So now you can set this up and get it ready to be glued. This is where you're going to get your bottle cap. And uh, if you see here, this is how the bottle cap looks. And then you're going to glue that bottle cap onto there. Okay, so you get your bottle cap. It's just a regular bottle cap, like I said, and then you get your glue stick. And with your glue stick, I need to add another stick in here. With your glue stick, you're going to just add glue to the bottom. Um, and again, you can use regular glue. It just takes a little bit longer to um, adhere. Um, and with this, you're going to push it down. Just be careful, it could be a little bit hot, so I don't want the kids to burn themselves. But the trick to this one is you need to leave a little bit of space right here just for the kids to be able to put their finger down and make it go. So when you glue this down, don't glue it right to the top. Um, just make sure you give yourself a little bit of space for their fingertip. So that's pretty much it. That's how you build a pom-pom rocket launcher. And then again, you just put your pom-poms in. You can also use mini marshmallows. You can use um, any anything that you would like to be able to uh, fit into that cap that could go flying. Um, if you have pets or animals, you have to be careful with the food, but if you have pom-poms, usually it's a fun way. And all they do is just push back and let the pom-poms fly. You can do targets and have targets set out where if they get the pom-poms in the cups or in the bowls or in the target, they get so many points. It's really fun to do with this. You can do contests for who makes it go the furthest. 
there are literally endless ways to be able to make this fun. They can color the sticks and make it more fun. Whatever works best for you, it's just a fun way to get kids to be able to um, enjoy the crafts and make it fun. And all ages would like this craft, even adults. So have fun with your pom-pom shooter and um, hopefully you are the reason that someone smiles today. Thanks for watching. Crafts that make kids smile.